test mic. What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about defining volumes in Revit MEP. Okay, so last time we discussed already how to create our space. Okay, so this time around, we are going to talk about zone. Okay, so in Revit, you create zones that represent areas served by one piece of mechanical equipment. So properly defined zones allows you to size equipment based on the cumulative information of the spaces grouped within a zone. So each zone contains information about heating and cooling temperatures and outdoor air. So this information is used by Revit during the heating and cooling loads analysis to determine the energy demands of a building. So that's how important our zone. But for you to be able to create your zone, you need to know how to create your space. That's the reason why we discussed last time how to create our space. So this time around, we are going to talk about zones. Okay, so zones consist of one or more spaces that are controlled by mechanical equipment. Let's say, for example, RTUs, AHUs, or chilled beam to maintain a common environment such as temperature and humidity. Okay, so as you can see here in our model, we already have spaces in this building created already. So the next thing that we are going to do we are going to create now our zone. Okay, so just a recommended practice when creating a zone. Always assign spaces to zones depending on the spaces that a common piece of equipment serves. Alright, so this serves you to choose the most efficient and cost-effective piece of equipment to enhance the building design. And also, assign a default service type for the complete building in the instance properties here. Okay, on our instance properties dialog box to avoid assigning a service type for each zone. And also, you can use your system browser. If you right-click and then you go to browser, you can see here system browser. So what is this um, system browser? So your system browser used to explore zones and spaces in a building model. So... The system browser here, just like your project browser, okay, it lists all the spaces and zones in the building model in a hierarchical structure. So just like your project browser with the spaces assigned to a zone listed under that zone. So even the unassigned spaces are listed under the default zone until they are associated with a different zone. So as you can see here, at the moment, we don't have yet any other uh, zones here. Okay, so but we are going to uh, specify that. So if you click the drop down arrow here and then you select zone, there is no zone here. So you only have the default here. Okay, so th this is just the default zone. Okay, so these are the spaces That's, that is not yet assigned to a zone. Okay, so. This is an unassigned spaces under the default zone here. So what we are going to do, let's create our zone. Again, we are not going to create our zone in this whole building. So we're just going to create it somewhere here because the process is the same. Okay, so we're not going to redo the process for the whole build, uh, building. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to create uh, HVAC zones by assigning existing spaces to the zones and you uh, and we are also going to create spaces to be assigned to a new zone all right <coughs> so as you can see spaces have been created on the first floor of a classroom building so we are going to create an HVAC zone for sizing equipment loads for the spaces of this floor on this floor on level one and if you notice, you're level 2 here. Okay, so until level 2, you don't have any spaces here. So we need to create spaces in this floor. And then we are going to assign spaces on the levels on our uh, new HVAC zone. 
Okay, so let's try to do this one. So I'm gonna open the level one HPAC plan. And then after that, from the analyze tab, so I'm going to select here zone. Okay, and then the spaces that I'm going to include to my zone is, let's say my archive. So I select my archive room. And then I also want to select here my washing room 25 and then the washing room 30. Okay, so as you can see, as I create my zone here, notice my system browser by default, it creates already a zone here, which is named zone 2. So if I'm going to expand that, you will see here the spaces that was included to that particular zone. Okay. Alright, so after you select all of these spaces for your zone, so I'm now going to select here finish. And there you go. So again, here on the project browse, uh, system browser, if you click the zone here, it will highlight here. So that will be on the zone, uh, zone number 2. But we are going to change the name of our zone. So I'm going to hover my pointer like this. So as you can see, it highlights the HVAC zone 2. So I'm going to click that. We can actually move, move this one. So maybe you can put it here. So that when you hover your pointer, you can click there your uh, zone easily. So I'm going to select the zone. And then I change the property for the name here instead of 2. So I'm going to change that to 1-1. One one, uh, one one. All right. Okay, so notice that next time when we create our zone, the naming will follow to 1-1. So like, for example, these three spaces here, I want this to be assigned in another space. Let's say these three rooms will be controlled by another mechanical equipment. So I'm going to select the zone here. And again, let's select the spaces. Cleaning. Cleaning technology and maybe I'll just add this one as well all right so I'll just add the WC and then notice that it follows 1-1 so it becomes 1-2 so I select here finish editing zone so I click that one there you go so again where's my zone so that's my zone so maybe I'll just put it somewhere here there you go all right, so that's my zone 1-2. Now, the next task that we are going to do is we are going to create new spaces within a zone. So we are not going to create separately the space just like what we did last time. And then after that, we are going to create the zone. So that is not the process that we are, not, uh, that we are going to do. So we are going to create new spaces within a zone. So how is that? So I'm going to change my level 2 HVAC plan. And notice in this floor that spaces have not been created for this level. So I'm going to activate now my zone here. Okay, so while I'm on the HVAC... Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. What is this? Let me undo it. All right. So I'm going to select my zone. There you go. So even though I'm already on the zone tool, I can still go to the system. At, yep, to the system. And then I can select, oh, sorry. Edit zone. And then I go to analyze. And then I can still select the space, right? So I can create a space within zone. So I'm going to select the space. Take note that I'm on the zone tool. So I'm going to create a space spaces within a zone. So I'm going to select space here. So let's say, for example, the spaces that I want or the zone or the spaces that I want to add to my zone is this room here. So I'm going to select this. Oh, before I pick this one, remember, we need to specify the upper limit, right? So I'm going to select the upper limit. The upper limit will going to be um, level 2 until the level 2 plenum. And then if you still remember, the offset that I'm going to do here is 0. So if you forget how to create your space, 
you can go back to the previous video and watch how to create the space. Alright, so we are on level 2 HVAC plan. The upper limit is level 2 plenum and then the offset will going to be 0. Okay, and then I'm going to pick this one. 1, 2, 3. Alright, there you go. And then, as you can see, it follows. It becomes 1-3. So we need to change this to 2-1. So let me just go first to the edit zone. And then I select here, finish editing uh, zone. So as you can see, after we create our space, automatically, since we are within the zone tool, it also creates the zone. Right? So we create the space. The spaces within a zone so there's my zone so I click that one and then from the properties I'll be changing this to two dash one apply there you go okay and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to create an HVAC zone across multiple levels so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select level 1 HVAC plan and then I'm going to create somewhere here on my stair. So this is stair, this is staircase, which spans multiple levels. For example, will be served by one piece of HVAC equipment. That's why we are going to create an, an HVAC zone here across multiple levels. So I'm going to select the zone. And then since we don't have space here, so I'm going to select Analyze, and then I select the space here. Okay, and then for the upper limit, since I'm on level 1, the upper limit that I'll be selecting here is uh, level 2. It, again, the offset will going to be 0. Okay, and then I'm now going to click here. Oh. All right, so it's so slow. Hmm, so there seems to be a problem with the space here. So let me just uh, undo this one first. Okay, it's because it says here space is not in properly enclosed uh, region. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to close this one, and then I'm just going to undo. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to create a space separator. So it draws a space separation line to divide space. So let me select that, and then I'll create one here. So let me try this one. So from here to here. And then let me try to create another space again. A ah, zone within uh, spaces within the zone. All right. So analyze space level two zero. All right. So I'm now going to place it here. Okay, there you go. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, escape once. I'm not going to terminate the zone tool. So I'm just going to exit the space tool. And then I'm going to open. So probably I'll just, maybe I can just include up to here. Anyway, uh, we can do that later. We can just adjust the boundary until here. Alright, so anyway, so let me just escape first this space tool and then I'm going to open my uh, level 2 HVAC plan. Level 2, again, I'm going to zoom in here. So I'll create um, analyze, space, analyze. Oh, let me just finish first because I haven't created the boundary for my space here. So I select space operator. Okay, so probably I'll pick somewhere here. Oops. Okay, and then I'll just pick somewhere here. 
Okay, and same with level 3. Okay, so for level 3, wow, my laptop is so slow. Alright, so space separator. So it looks like this two is separate entity. So I'll just create one here to here. And then from here to here. Try this. Alright. Okay. Or maybe what I can just do is just delete this, delete. Okay. Alright, so let's try this again. So let me open the level one. So I've got a space here. Where's the zone? I already created the zone here. So there's the zone. I edit the zone because you can edit the zone and then I'll go back again to uh, level 2 add space so I'm gonna click okay so add space analyze space sorry then I'm gonna pick here so that's my another space so again I'm going to escape to terminate the space tool but it's not terminating the zone tool so i'm going to open the level 2 hvac plan a uh, level 3 so i'm going to select again analyze the space and then i'm on level 3 so i'm going to select here level 3 to level 4 i'm not going to include that plan all right so i'm going to place one here there you go and then I'll select here modify okay so I now have created here okay so let us now finish finish editing zone there you go so this is now my zone 2-2 okay Right, so maybe I'm just going to change the name of this zone. So I'm going to change that to instead of 2 2, I'll just name it NE for Northeast Staircase. So something like that. So apply. There you go. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is after creating the, the zones, so I'm going to change my view to uh, HVAC zone section. So I open this one. And then after that, I'm just going to create a color fill legend here. So if you still remember, I've shown you how to do that. So I'm going to select here color fill legend. So I click that. And then I'm going to put one here. There you go. So instead of sp uh, space here, I'm going to select HVAC zone. And okay, there you go. So there you go. So there's now your uh, color fill legend, and it's now showing you here the zone 1-1, 1-2, 2-1, and then the north is there. Okay, so basically that's how you create your uh, zone. Okay, so you need to create first a space. So if you don't have a space, you can still create your zone by simply selecting the zone tool and then after that you just go to the analyze tab and then you can select space from there so by doing that you are creating spaces within zone or if you already have the spaces then much easier so all you have to do is to select the zone and then you just need to select add space all right so if your boundary or if your room is not properly enclosed you can use the space separator for that to create the boundary all right okay so hope you learned from this video if you have any questions suggestions or comments you can put it on the comment section below guys and i'll get back to you as soon as i can all right so thank you for watching guys god bless